it's Dr. Lori. This is Ask Dr. Lori Live. That's right. My guests are here. Everything's unscripted. I don't know what's coming. I'm going to show you what to look for. <laughs> Hi, everybody. In the comments, I want to know where you're watching from. So let me know where you're watching from. Put those in the comments. And I'm taking your questions, too. You can put those in the comments, of course. What have you got? Let's see your objects, folks. Hold them up. Hold them up. Let's see. One object, I appraise one object here. You don't need to hold up two, one is great. One object. Let's see what we've got. All right, let's see what this bead necklace looks like. It's kind of brown, they look like they're amber beads. Hi. Hi, Dr. Lori. Hi, how are um, you? Good, how are you? Good, what's your name, where are you calling from? Uh, Ina from Fort Wayne. Hi, Ina, Fort Wayne, Indiana? That's right. I guess there are other Fort Waynes, right? <laughs> I mean, I would think that there probably are other Fort Wayne. I think there's I'm, one more somewhere. I don't know where. Yeah, I would think so, you know. But I know Fort Wayne, Indiana very well. So show me what you got, hon. How'd you acquire this? Okay. So I think, I'm pretty sure I got it in a blue box. I might have paid a dollar or two somewhere else. I don't know. But yeah. one of those. And I can't figure out if it's Bakelite or possibly Amber. I, or not, or neither. I don't know. <laughs> okay, no idea. All right, a couple of different things. Here's what to look for. First of all, I did a whole video on how you tell bake, bake a light. Do you know where the binge link is? Right? I do, and I don't think okay. I've seen that video, to be honest. I'm sorry, honey, what did you say? I don't think I've seen that video, to be honest. Yeah, and you know, I know it's a little bit hard sometimes that things get offered up and sometimes they don't, but if you use the binge link, you don't have to worry about any of that nonsense. Go to the binge link. It's on my specials and shop page at drlorev.com. There's a big red button. Click on the big red button that says binge link. Click on that, save that link and use it. And then it's just going to give you all the Dr. Lori videos so you don't miss it. However, to tell you this, in, in terms of Bakelite, how you identify it and how you can tell has a lot to do with smell. Okay, so it has a particular smell. You know, sterling silver has a particular smell mm -hmm, too. Mm -hmm. Look for a couple of things about this. These do not look like Bakelite to me, just by you know, almost thirty years of experience with the eyes. I think they're not Bakelite. However, um, in terms of it, they also do not look like real amber. They look like synthetic amber. Now, mm -hmm. do they have some weight to them? Um, they're not light and they're not super heavy. They're kind of like right in the middle. All right. <laughs> So that's not really an answer, but I'll give it to you. So, so, and you got them in a blue box. So you probably paid thirty nine ninety nine for the blue box or something like that. Mm -hmm. And so maybe this was two or three bucks. So is there is there any kind of mark on the clasp or no? There is not. It's just gold. It's not peeling or anything. Not real and how gold. Long, and how long is it? It's gold uh, metal or gold metal color. Twenty four inches. Twenty four inches. Mm -hmm. okay. I think it's synthetic. They're trying to look like amber. It's not real amber. Value on it, about $65. You might be able to get 75 bucks. I would try that, negotiate for that, you know, and uh, see if you can get $75 out of it. But in terms of it, not, not fake light and not real amber. Just the way you can also hear the sound of it. I want you to understand what to look for. That's what I why I do it. So okay. oh, my, my question of the day, and thanks for tuning in. My question of the day, Thank you. tacos... Soft or hard? Oh, always soft corn. Always soft tacos. Okay, good to see you. Thanks for <laughs> being here from Fort Wayne, Thank Indiana. You. My pleasure, my pleasure. And special tomorrow morning, Eastern Time, 7 a.m. Eastern Time, the Bobby Bones Show. I'm going to talk about Beanie Babies. I'm going to show you what to look for and show you which ones are valuable so you can get rid of all the nonsense about Beanie Babies. I'll be on with, of course, the National Radio uh, show with Bobby Bones. We love him. We love him. Dancing with the Stars and American Idol and Bobby Bones. So anyway, I'm Dr. Lori and I hope you tune into that. And I'm glad you're tuned in here with me now. And of course, I want to see your art antiques and collectibles. Let's see what you've got. All right. Let's look at this necklace. It's a multi-strand necklace. All right. All right. Let's see. Multi-strand necklace. Hi, what's your name? Heather and Hi, Steve. Steve. Heather and Steve, where are you calling from, guys? Wisconsin. All right. Where in Wisconsin? Wisconsin's big. It's all cheese, but where is it? <laughs> <laughs> you got that right. But it's Beloit. It's down by Illinois, on the border of Illinois. On the border of Illinois. Beloit, Wisconsin. All right. Yep. So what did you do today? Was today a good day? What happened? It, it was a good it was day. A great we day. just went to my mom's and ate okay. and 
Came so home pretty much. Mom fed you, huh, Steve? She did, yes. <laughs> that's good. She is a good cook. So. She is. I bet yeah. you she is. I bet you yeah. she is. Well, that's good. It's nice to see you guys. How'd you acquire this necklace? We acquired it in um, uh, one of those big bags of jewelry okay. from, Goodwill. from Goodwill. There was like three bags. And we negotiated. Because of you, Dr. Lewis. Because of you. Yes. We negotiated. We, they had three bags, and we asked if we could get all of them for $40. And one of them was $80. For, so. $40 a piece. They were, yeah. Wow, yeah. good for you. They were $40 yeah. a piece, and you said, I'll take all three for 40 Yes. 40 a piece. Yep. Yes. Right. Right. Because you're helping them too. They sold three now instead of just selling one. Good. Right. Good yes. for you. You got to at least try and don't get <laughs> discouraged. Right. Right, right Steve. Yes. You yes, got to try. Definitely. Don't get yes. discouraged. You know, just say, okay, if they say no, so what if they say no, who cares? Right. Yeah. But you got to say, I'm going to try it. I'm going to negotiate. I'm going to try it. Especially for the ladies. Cause the ladies guys like to do the wheelie dealy. The women like to shop. So I always say, and I'm a woman. I know how this goes. I like to shop too. But you know what? I want you to do that. I want you to try. Just give it a shot. Put that cam put that necklace closer to the camera for me. Oh, yeah. Start with the clasp and then the necklace. Closer okay. to the camera. There's Heather. The clasp. I like that a lot. I like and that a lot. Here's okay. the necklace, and there's about 30 strands. And 30 strands. I'm sorry, Steve. You got to speak up for me, Steve. It's 16 inches long. 16 inches long. So it, it hits yeah. pretty high, right? Pretty high. Yeah. Does it look good on you, Steve? How's it look on you? I, I haven't tried it on yet, Dr. Laura, just yeah, to be right. honest. Yeah, right. right. Yeah, right. You tried doesn't it go, Doesn't go with your color, right? Maybe no, not really. I caught him right. looking in the mirror. He was wearing it. Heather, is it marked on the back of the class? Um... We couldn't find a mark and we used the loop and we couldn't find one. Use the loop. Got to use the loop. The loop's a money magnet. Use the loop. Yes. Yes. You didn't find a marking at all. No. no. Here's why I think there's probably a marking on it. Do you see those paste, those pieces that are looking like faux stones in that very, 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 very complex clasp? Yes. That's a yes. higher end piece of jewelry, right? Right. And so that's why I like that a lot. Of course, you got multi strands and that's kind of just for a look. So what they're doing is they're putting the value, the money, the labor, the, the intensity into the clasp. So you could wear the clasp either way. You could wear it here as a pendant or you could wear it, of course, just as the clasp. But that's where the value is in that piece. And, you know, somebody like Mary who knows her costume jewelry is going, I love that clasp. And that's what people are looking for. I want you to know what to look for. Mm -hmm. And the reason why clasps are very important because they provide another type of dimension to it. You know, if Steve right. wants to wear the necklace backwards or <laughs> forwards, you know how it goes. Anyway, right. that, particular, that particular necklace dates to the early part of the 1970s. It's made in New York, probably in that time period, obviously. And I would say value on it for your $40, well, it's more, less than $40 because you got three bags full of jewelry for 40 bucks. That was excellent. Um, I would say value on that necklace alone is 75 Oh, that's oh awesome. so you yeah. almost doubled, right? Just in that one piece, you almost doubled your money, right? Yeah. For all the stuff. And you probably got hundreds of pieces. Oh, we did. Oh, yeah. There yeah. are big bags. Yeah. I'm Absolutely. proud of you and happy. I'm happy to hear that. I'm happy to hear that. Yeah. Hey, have you guys done video calls with me? Don't forget about video calls. If you have a whole big collection, if you want me to go through all the pieces, a 30 minute video call will do that. And we're running a special too. So we, check we will be doing that. Yeah. We check the specials and shop page if you need it and answer yeah. my question. Tacos, soft or hard? We're divided, so I'm a hard shell guy. And, and I'm a soft shell person. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like soft shells. I don't know, the hard goes all over the place. It's a big mess. I right? have a thing about messy food. I don't like it to be messy. <laughs> yeah. you know, I like to eat, but I don't like it to be messy. Oh, <laughs> so, yeah. Nice to see you. Hey, hey I want to see Take a picture with your outfit when you're wearing that necklace, Steve. <laughs> oh, we will. I'll try to, Dr. Laura. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Take care, guys. Wisconsin checking in. There you go. That's a very, very good deal. That was a good deal. Negotiate. You got to negotiate. And what to look for, I want you to see. Super chats and super stickers are always available. Thank you very much. It supports the channel. There's lots of ways you can support the channel. Share the channel, will you please? Share the channel. Share the videos. 
Tell your friends, share it on your social media group, share the channel. I'm telling you what to look for. I'm giving you the keys to the castle, people. You know, share the channel, please. I want to see more subscribers and I want to see more likes. I get kind of annoyed. All these people have likes and subscribers and this and views and come on. You know, I'm giving you a lot more than a lot of these channels. My guests are here. That's what's cool. And it's good to be with all of you. Don't forget to share. Let's see what we've got. Let's see what we've got. Oh, well, we've got a dragon and we've got a ring and we've got a bracelet. I got to go with Ian and the ring in Canada. Where are you, Ian? Cambridge, Ontario, of course. What's happening? I like this ring. See, I like the rings when they have a couple of stones. This is a cheapie, but I like the rings. What yeah. have you got? I know you love rings. You're like me. Exactly, so, of course. What have you got here, kid? Let me see. So Three, three stone ring. I went you know, in my usual jewelry hunting today. Okay. And um, there's this, the silver ring that I showed you last time, the snowflake ring with all the topaz. Come on. I see 50,000 objects a year. Who remembers? I don't remember. <laughs> so I got it from that same seller. This one was okay. $18. Okay. Um, I did a quick look at it because I always look for marks and I saw a K. So I was like, oh, okay. I'll, I'll take that one. I, you know, whatever. $18. I get it home. Look at it under the loop. It's actually 10 karat gold. It's not silver. Okay, good. Okay. So which it's is interesting. I was like, whoa, cool. Cause it's, you know, it's, it's not silver, which is where these rings come from. And that's, and that's a good thing. I, I'm going to interrupt you just a minute and don't forget about international marks, which I tell you on my website and I tell you on my silver mark video and also gold marks. Um, remember that they could have different numbers too. So if you see nine carat, don't say, oh, geez, this is, can't be right. Or yeah. 15 carat, this can't be right. You got to learn those two. But you go ahead. You were saying. So then um, I I got it home, looked at it under my loop, and sure enough, it's 10 carat. So I was like, okay, cool. So I just tested the gems like literally not 20 minutes ago. Um, and it goes, goes up to ruby and sapphire. So it kind of goes over ruby, right e -e -e to sapphire. But I've looked at it under my loop. I just cleaned it. They're they're awfully clear. I do see a little bit of inclusion in them, but okay. no air bubbles or anything like that. So you use the presidium gem tester? Yeah, yeah. All right, okay. No air bubbles, so no bubbles. Okay, good, good. When you see the bubbles, right? You want to remember. You want to thank you very much, everybody, for the super chats and super stickers. Keep them coming. This idea, when you see the bubbles, you want to know that you probably don't have something that you should have, right? So you want to avoid bubbles. Bubbles yeah. are for glass, not for gems. Bubbles are for glass, not for gems. Okay. So you've got that piece. So you're looking at something that you're thinking it could be a ruby and it also could be a sapphire. I would probably err on the side of sapphire before I'd say those are rubies. Okay. Yeah. Now, people will go, gosh, really, Dr. Lori? Yeah, because rubies, you know, it's pretty, pretty rare to have three beautiful rubies like those, okay? Less so with sapphires. But again, I want you to check it out with a GIA certified gemologist who's local because they're going to have a lab right there in the store. They're going to be able to tell you. So that's one of the things. But the Presidium Gem Tester, which, of course, I recommend on my specials and shop page. Yes, I get compensation when you buy a product like that from me, but I want you to know that that is a great way for those of you who are loving it, because he's a collector, but people who are loving, of course, Joy, or who are reselling Joy, it's a tremendous help. And all of you who are out there doing this and reselling and making money based on this channel are telling me, thank God I got the Presidium Gem Tester, Dr. Lori, it was worth the money. Me. Right? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And it's not that much for an investment of you're doing your business, you gotta do that. Okay, so let's say that these are sapphires. Let's say we know that this is 10 karat white gold value on that ring. I'm gonna go 350 bucks. So you pay nice. 18. Nice. Eight, 18 yeah, is I left really the tag nice. On it for let's you. see it on what did you say? I left the tag on it for you. Oh, well, that was nice of you. <laughs> Let me see it on your finger. It only goes on my ring finger. Well, that's a good finger. You were, yeah, nice. Really nice. That's good. Right. That's good, Ian. I like it. Um, yeah. yeah, I want you to do another test, but I'd be very surprised if those are actually real rubies. And I want you to think about those things because, you know, this is what the channel's about. Things like, hey, you know, I'm, I'm trying to, I, I don't want to see bubbles. You know, these kind of tips are what you need. News you can use, right? That's what I want you to see. So that's great. That's great. Uh, sapphire colors that are more valuable than another. When people think sapphire, they think blue. Blue. Right? 
Everybody thinks blue. However, many different stones can be many different colors, right? Garnets are the ones that are a lot of colors, right? So, you know, we think of garnets. These are garnets, my birthstone. These are garnets red, right? Inexpensive garnets are sort of low on the scale. You know, they're not really comparable to sapphires or diamonds or rubies. But in fact, different, the same gemstone can come in different colors, if you will. Gemstones are a fantastic, interesting, of course, collecting category. Ian, love to see you always. Tacos, soft or hard? Oh, soft. Soft. Yeah, me yep. too. Soft. Question yep. of the day. Good to see you, sweetheart. Good to see you too. Yeah. Thank He's you. a good collector. Why? Because he puts his time into learning it too, right? And then, you know, you want to do what you love to do. So it's fun. It's fun for him. Good for him. $18 to make three fifty. dollars Why? On the channel, learning from the channel, and doing your own work too. You know, he spends a lot of time on it. How else can you learn some stuff from me? The newsletter, which is very easy and free. So you can sign up for the newsletter at drlaurieb.com. Look for the thumbs up free icon. And then put in your email address. When we send out the newsletter, which is regularly, you'll get it in your email box. You don't have to do anything else. Nothing else that you have to do. And don't forget about my online appraisals. If you have a photo of something that you want me to check out for you, send it in. I'll take a look at it also at drlaurieb.com. My guests are here. Let's see what they've got. Hold up those objects. Let's see what they've got. Well, goodness, let's see. So we've got a... Ginger jar piece. That looks like it might be Olivia. We've got Mel over here, and this looks like it's some kind of plate. And then it looks like we have an Indonesia Javanese uh, piece from Lori. All right, let's go with the Royal Dalton plate. Hello. Hi, how are you, Mel? I'm good. How are you? What's happening? Where are you now? I'm at Where home, you... but I'm outside because my boyfriend's working. Oh, Gosh, this working. is hard. I don't want to disturb him with noise. Oh, so. don't disturb him. Goodness me. No, no, you no. don't want to disturb anybody. <laughs> you, know, you know, it's just little old me here <laughs> disturbing no, no. people. So anyway, well, he's, he's working as a music I'm, No, 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 I don't care. Okay. Okay. I'm just joking with you, honey. I understand okay, people okay. working. I know what it is. When I was when I was writing one of any of my books, I was like, get away from me. I can't, don't, I don't want to hear anything. I understand working. So okay. tell me about this. Now, are you in Oregon? Where are you, Mel? Yeah, I'm in Oregon, Corvallis. Okay. What have you got? This kind of looks like a Royal Dalton collector's plate. Yeah, it's, it, I don't know if it's a plate. I thought maybe it was a trivet for like a teapot oh, or something. Oh, feet. Yeah, could you hold yeah, it still? Feet. I'm sorry. Could you, it's, <laughs> yeah, yeah. could you hold it still? Yeah. All right. This is the back. That's the Royal Dalton mark. You can see, of course, that mark. Very, very indicative. And that had, that mark changes over the years. Just like the Hummel Goble mark, that Royal Dalton mark will change too. So what to look for? If you're looking at Royal Dalton, you will look at a mark that sometimes will say Royal Dalton with the Ds both ways, right? And you might see one that says Lambeth. You might see one that says Burlesome. So when the actual fa factory moves place to place, the mark changes. Also, the size of the of the crown and the lion will also be indicative of time period. It will help you date it. I talk a lot about Royal Dalton on my website at drlaurieb.com under the research tab. Can I see the other side, which is the front of this? Basically, it is a trinket bowl. So it sits huh. down on a table and it's a trinket bowl. You can put like, you know, maybe a uh, a ring or some earrings or something in it, or you can just leave it there. Like my mother would say for nice. It looks pretty, that kind of thing. So have you looked this up? Yeah, I looked it up, but I've been looking trivet. I, I couldn't find the exact uh, object. I could find similar, try, similar try things. Trinket, try trinket dish. Okay. Okay. Val, uh, time period for it. Early part of the 19, uh, early part of the 1940s to about the late 1960s value on it about $45. Okay. It's nice though. I like it. Based on actual sales records, it's very typical of their sort of the cries of London kinds of things, mm -hmm. you know, sellers of the Victorian streets. That's what we typically see with Royal Dalton. If you're not looking at those Royal Dalton figurines of the ladies like Top of the Hill or the different girls' names of those figurines. But mm -hmm. that's going to be where Royal Dalton moves toward because a lot of people are moving away from the figurines and they're moving toward more functional objects from the great, of course, uh, Lambeth and Burlesome Pottery Manufacturers, Royal Dalton of England. So that's really nice. I like it. Where did you okay. get it? How much did you pay? I got it at an antique mall for $7. $7 is really good. 
you know, to make a lot more than that. So that's a very good piece. I like that a lot. And so, did you did you pick it up because you saw Royal Dalton or did you think the blue what what was it? What was Yeah, the well, I thought it was interesting looking. It's like a solitary man kind of. I just thought it was interesting and I looked at the back. It said $7. I saw Royal Dalt and I thought, "Oh, that's probably worth more than $7." So I'll I'll, I'll pick it up. There you go. I like it. Yeah. Hey, soft tacos or of course hard tacos. What do you like better? I would go soft tacos. Yeah, soft they're too tacos. messy hard tacos. Do you like chicken? Yeah, sure. Mm -hmm, My whole thing about tacos is you got to have lettuce and you got to have lettuce on nachos too. I like lettuce. <laughs> okay. I got to disagree with you there. I'm oh, sorry. You don't I don't like, like lettuce, lettuce on a taco? No, or on burgers or on anything with meat and cheese. I, I don't think lettuce oh. goes with, with that so well. So you don't like the crunchy and, and cold with the hot and mushy and, and right. gooey. I think that's it. It's cold mm -hmm. and you should, it, yeah, you want it to be hot. Unless tomatoes. Cold tomatoes are good on that. Kind okay. Of well, when I come to Oregon, <laughs> you'll have to take me out for lettuce list tacos. How's that? Well, we can do that. There's great tacos. Okay. I'll pay. Bye. Okay. <laughs> Bye. Nice to see you. Uh, you got to find the spot, though, the place to go. I won't know the restaurants. Anyway, uh, lots of cool stuff. Royal Dalton and all of these very high quality uh, ceramic companies from, of course, England, many of them from Staffordshire, England, places like Stoke on Trent, uh, those kinds of things. Uh, are, of course, what you want to look for and look for those marks. Thank you very much, Lori. Lori always supports the channel. How else can you support the channel? Shop for our merchandise. And of course, I get compensation, which goes to, of course, the channel. Now, all of you love these image searches of Google. A lot of them are are sending you on, not that they're terrible, but a lot of them are sending you on wild goose chases. I can't tell you how many of you are going, I put this on a Google search and I spent the next two weeks looking for stuff that had nothing to do with my object. You know, you can get it right here. You can send me a picture. We'll go from there. Soft tacos, hard tacos. I know I like lettuce, right? I like lettuce. I don't know. <laughs> Maybe I feel I feel better about eating tacos because it has a salad element. I'm like, oh, it's kind of like salad anyway. So there's lots of things to do. Don't forget that. And another thing, don't forget gift certificates. They're the best gift out there for the person who has everything. An appraisal gift certificate with me or a video call gift certificate. They're available too. They're available too. Hey, I got love from some of our regulars like Carmen and Dave, of course, from Rhode Island. I hope Dave is lounging, watching some football and lounging. I, I crack up at Dave. He's a good guy. Anyway, uh, my guests are here. That's what you want to see. I'm going to show you what to look for, show you what you got. Let's see what you've got. Let's talk about that. Um, hmm. Let's talk about that. I don't know if I should choose that or not. That glass piece. <laughs> Let's see. Hmm. Well, let's talk about that glass piece. Hi, Dr. Lori. How are you? Thank you. I'm all right. How are you? I'm good. How are you, darling? Good. How'd you acquire this? A Goodwill auction. You're hinting about the gift certificate. Stop hinting. Just tell them I want a gift certificate. I'm not making you buy me jewelry. What is wrong with you girls? <laughs> All right. You got that on online auction. How much did you pay for this glass figural vase? $9.99. Yeah, $9.99. I think it's a Murano knockoff. All righty. It's but beautiful, I would say, though. I say it's probably worth, I'm sorry, what'd you say? I said it's beautiful, though. I love it. It is beautiful because it's blue and white and everybody loves blue and white. It's very, it's, it's creative because of course of the necklace. It looks like, of course, uh, uh, the top of a body, uh, the top of a torso. I would say value on it about 35 bucks. So you didn't do bad for $9.99. Nice to see you and you too, hard, darling. hard tacos, babe. Oh, soft with How lettuce much? and tomatoes and sour cream. Yeah, come on. <laughs> yeah. 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 Guacamole if they have it. Guacamole is a must. Yes. <laughs> I don't want to hear about Mexican without guacamole, people. Exactly. I do not. And um, it's a good fat. Remember that whole thing? It's a good fat. Great. I don't care. It tastes good. I like it. Oh, there's yeah. the cat. Oh, my gosh. I had a heart attack oh, there. Okay. No heart attack with the cat. I did not expect the cat to go moving there. That was scary. Anyway, I'm Dr. Lori. Isn't this fun? My guests are here. Here they are. I had a lot of glass looking in, in that one. That was hard for me to choose because there was a lot of sort of uh, reflections. So I apologize for... Uh, yes, being a little bit tentative on that. You need to hold your cameras horizontally, please. Right. Horizontal cameras if you can. And we got to back up a little bit so we can back up and see. What is this piece that looks like it has figures carved into it and it might be a brooch? 
Is this a Native yes, American? Yes, it is group? a brooch, Dr. Lawrence. Hi, what's your name? I'm not are? sure. It says a Sterling. Sophia from Dallas, Texas. Hi, Sophia. It's nice to see you, honey. So it says Sterling. It looks like it's a Native American Southwestern brooch. It looks like I haven't been able to find the, uh, it has like a mark in here. I'll help you I find the mark. I haven't been able to find yeah. anything. Sophia, don't worry about the mark. I will help you find okay. the mark. First of all, the marks are sometimes pictograms. And I talk about these in my silver marks video. So watch it, get the binge link and watch it. That silver marks video is going to make all of you money. So anyway, that's what I want. That's why I do it. Okay. So or it's going to make you have a great collection. Both is fine. That's obsidian and it is carved. That's what the black is. The sterling silver is sterling. And here's why this is a great piece. So Sophia, honey, turn that around so we everybody mm -hmm. can see the back for me. Turn that around so everybody can see the back. Okay, great, great. Stay right there. Back up a little bit. Back up toward your body, toward your body. Move it toward your body. Stop. Okay, here's what I want you to see. Notice that the sterling is continued all the way across the back, which means that piece of carved obsidian, which is the black stone, that carved stone is actually being encased in all that sterling. That's valuable because there's a lot of sterling, the precious metal, there's a lot of it there. So this is an expensive piece to make. And it's an expensive piece when you, of course, get it. How did you acquire it? A Goodwill outlet. How much did you pay? It was around 50 cents. <laughs> it was 50 cents, 0.50, 50 cents, half a dollar. That piece is a 270, no. that piece is a $275 Navajo made Carved wow. obsidian um, brooch. I mean, 50 cents? These people are, so, I mean, it's just sterling right on it. How could you miss this? But they miss everything. They miss so much stuff. <laughs> $250, Native American, beautiful. Dates to probably the 1970s, the late 70s into the 1980s. Sophia, congratulations. Wow. And wow is right, people. That thank is a you. nice I'll nice keep it, Dr. Lori. You wear it. You wear that yeah, in good health, you. honey. You wear that in good health around Dallas. It's going to fit right in where you live. And answer my question about tacos. Soft <laughs> or hard? Soft. Soft. And when you saw it in the store, in the thrift store, was it under the case? Or what? did you have to, like, go through a basket of junk? There is, there was a basket of junk, you know, the beans, the big beans, and they have a lot of uh, Native American looks like uh, yeah. toys and all that kind of stuff. And then see this and it says sterling silver and I thought it was really pretty. Good for you, honey. Congratulations. And if you guys, thank, thank you, you. Thank you. And if you think that this channel is helping you, then I want to see it. I want to see support any way you want to do it by watching, by sharing, by super stickers, by, of course, buying the merchandise. But I need to see your support by sharing the channel will help, too. But, you know, you got to I have to feel the love, people. <laughs> and my guests are here and it's great to be with all of you. We're doing appraisals. I'm Dr. Lori, the Ph.D. Antiques Appraiser. I'm going to show you what to look for. Let's see what we've got. Let's see what we've got. How about this little pitcher? That's kind of sweet. Let's see this little ceramic pitcher. Who's this? This is Ginger Whetstone. Hi, Ginger. Where are you calling from, hon? I'm St. Louis, Missouri. Nice to see you. Is there a mark on the bottom of that little pitcher? Yes, yeah, if I can get it up here. Let me turn it around. Okay. And back up toward your body a little bit, please. And what does that mark say? It says Nippon. Nippon. Yeah. Yes. So made in Japan. Japan. It's a little creamer. I'm calling it a pitcher, but it's a creamer because it's so small. Made in Japan. How did you acquire it? I got it at an estate sale uh, 10 or 15 years ago. Oh, wow. A long time ago. So show us the mark again for me, um, Ginger. Here's the deal with this mark. Do you see the two different colors? you got green and orange or green and red. When yes. you see that mark, that piece dates anytime between 1920 and about 1935, okay? okay? Nippon is utilized also to say that it's made in Japan, but then in later times, it also, it means actually that it is 
used as not only to indicate Japan, but also to be indicate a particular pottery manufacturer. Value on that piece, about $15. It's a nice piece. It's hand painted. It's made of porcelain. My question of the day, always based on actual sales record where something sold. It's not a list price. It's not, ooh, I wish it's this. It's not a wish, a hope, a dream. It's an actual sales record where something has sold because we care about sales. Okay. Um, soft tacos or hard tacos out of St. Louis. And St. Louis loves tacos, right? That's right. And we love toasted ravioli, but it's soft taco tacos. Soft tacos and that and that cracker thin pizza. Uh, awful. I know, but that's your pizza, kids. I mean, uh, I, love- I don't, I don't claim it. Okay. okay. I grew up in New Haven and I have a dear friend in St. Louis. And let me tell you, he's always like, we got to go get the pizza. It's really thin. I'm like, it tastes like a cracker. It's terrible. But anyway, oh, yeah. I love him his terrible pizza because I'm from the pizza capital, New Haven. I love you. See you, Ginger. Thanks. Bye. Yeah. So it was a family heirloom where she got it at a thrift store a long time ago. So of course, it's hard for her to assess, well, how much did she pay then versus today's numbers? But that's what you're doing. Yeah, toasted ravioli, couple million calories in that, right? <laughs> anyway, yeah, I liked, I don't claim it. It's not my thing. Anyway, lots of fun, lots of fun. When you're looking at ceramics and when you're looking at, of course, porcelain, I want you to look for bright white. I want you to look for Dr. Lori Glove White, Clorox White. I want it to be white, okay, when you're looking at porcelain. Uh, I always say, you know, it should be Clorox white. Uh, And that idea is, of course, because the porcelain has fewer impurities if you see, of course, white. And that's that's one of the tips for any piece of porcelain, whether you're looking at uh, Theodore Haviland for Limoges or you're looking at a piece of porcelain from Nippon or from Japan, whatever it might be. Oh, yes, my guests are here. That's for sure. They are here. We're looking at jewelry. We're looking at glass. We're looking at art. We're looking at all kinds of stuff. We'll see what you've got. You got to back up off the camera so I can see the objects. All right. Let's see what let's see what you've got here. Let's see what this ginger jar is. Is this Olivia? Yes, ma'am. Hi, Olivia, Tennessee, right? Yeah, you remember. What are you doing now? Your hair was back. Your hair is long. How long is your hair? Uh, it's pretty long. Oh wow. Well, the girls are wearing it really long, huh? Yes, ma'am. Yeah, pretty, very pretty. Thank you. So now, do you do all different stuff with it? Like when I was young and I had it longer, I used to, well, it's kind of long for me being an old lady, but you know, <laughs> I used to have it longer and I didn't do a lot. I did the same thing. It was kind of always down and that was it. Do you do other stuff and put it up on your bun and stuff? Uh, Yeah, sometimes. I, I don't do a lot in my hair because it doesn't usually do what I tell it to. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> have you been shopping, darling, treasure hunting? Yes, ma'am. All right. Tell me what you got here. I like it. It's good looking. Yeah, I got this at the thrift shop. I found out what ginger jars were from YouTube, and I found out uh, that I guess they're usually valuable, so I picked this one up at Goodwill. Okay. Well, ginger jars are usually valuable, but ginger jars are also, in fact, some of the most common forms that they make in ceramic classes. So, you know, you go to the local high school and you take a ceramic class, guess is what the first thing you're going to make is. Usually it's a ginger jar because you have to learn how to make a top that fits onto a bottom. Let's look at the top and the bottom because this is what I want you all to look for. Je- um, Olivia, will you show us as if we were going to look down the inside of the piece and then I want you to hold the ginger jar top right next to it. There you go. Okay, exactly what I want you to do. Here's what I want you to see. If the piece is finished, that means if it is colored or glazed or painted all the way through the top, right? As if it's going to come over the top and into the inside, down the holes, if you will, right? Mm -hmm. Then you know you have a higher quality piece. Your pieces look to be, in fact, that they are, they are actually glazed all the way through, right? Mm -hmm. All the way around. A lot of them are not. The ones that are not, where it looks like it's white, say it's a pink ginger jar all the way, it's all pink, right? And then there's a white line because they didn't put the pink all the way into the, Mm -hmm. that area, all the way through, that indicates that you probably have a student work from like a pottery class, okay? And pottery classes usually only have your first name on it. Audrey, Susie, that kind of thing. Is there mm-hmm. a mark on the bottom of yours? Yes, ma'am. It okay. said, I don't know if you'll be able to see it, but it says Nita. It says Nita on it, okay. Nita 83. So, yeah, right. So this particular piece, now let's look at the, let's look at the decoration, because that's gonna be important too. 
Okay, so the decoration looks like it's transferred on. It's not hand painted. So value goes down a little bit for transfer wear versus hand painting, right? Hand painting's up here for value. Transfer wear is usually a little bit lower depending on the piece and many factors. So don't think that that's a generalization for everything, just for this piece. And then ginger jars usually come in pairs. Did you get two? No, ma'am. This was the only one that was there. Okay. So value on, how much did you pay for this one? $3. Is it eight inches tall with the lid? Uh, it looks like it might be a maybe a little bigger than that. Are you able to do that? Just eye it. They call it eyeing it. Can you eye it and know how big it is? Kind I want of. you all to go home and I want you to get a ruler and I want you to measure from here to here. Whatever that measurement is, I want you to know it because when you're in a thrift store, when you're in a yard sale, when you're anywhere else, grandma's attic, you will know that this to here, it's about here on me, is 12 inches. So if you know that, and some of you will know also, it's also uh, the measurement. Sometimes they say it's your shoe size, but if you can measure from the tip of your finger down, every single time you see a painting, every single time you see a print, every single time you see a piece of ceramic, you can measure. And I want you to start to learn to eye it. Because once you can do that, it's gonna be another tool in that jewel chest of yours that I am teaching you so you can make money. When you learn how, how big something is, you're gonna be able to say, oh, okay, this might be a good deal if it's eight inches or 12 inches for this much money. So I want you to get these, this great advice. I keep giving you great advice because I want you all to succeed. That's why I'm doing it. I'm a teacher at heart. That piece is worth $35 for your investment. Not bad. Thank you. My pleasure. It's always good to see you. Hey, don't go yet, Olivia, honey. Uh, soft tacos or hard tacos? Soft tacos. A lot of tacos in Tennessee. No, no, unfortunately, no, I wouldn't think so. <laughs> Not a lot in, in Pennsylvania either, but you know, tacos are tacos. Gotta have lettuce though. That's my deal. Guacamole yeah. and lettuce. Actually, we could just eat guacamole and lettuce without the tacos. I don't need the tacos. <laughs> <laughs> nice to see you, honey. Good to see you. It's nice to see all of you. Thanks to my guest. I'm Dr. Lori. I hope you learned what to look for. You will hear if you watch this video. I'll see you next time.